Closing and joining us live now to talk more about that, our political analyst, Fred Dicker from our Capitol Newsroom. And Fred, before we get to those reforms, let's just quickly talk about the Siena poll. Astorino doesn't seem to be getting any traction, and the governor's uh, numbers seem to be up. What do you read about and, into that? Yeah, Liz, you're absolutely right. I think they're up just a little bit from what we've seen before. The good news, if there is any good news for Astorino, is the high number of people who don't know who he is. That means there's a lot of upside potential for him. He's bound to go higher than he is right now poor 21 percent. Also, there are a lot of problems out in the state, and the poll reflects that upstaters are not happy with the jobs uh, that the governor is doing. Uh, overall, statewide, the governor's job approval rating, I think, is 49 percent. Disapproval, or negative, is 50 percent. So there's at least some potential there. But obviously, it takes a lot of money to get your message out. And one thing that Rob Astorino lacks, along with support, <laughs> according to this poll, mm. is a lot of money to do that. And he's got ideas. I mean, he keeps throwing them out there. It's a question of whether people are either getting to hear them or how they're responding to them. But today, his 10-point plan, he's calling again for term limits. He's got this idea of switching around per diem so that you need receipts. And is all that going to resonate with the, uh, with the voter? Well, I think most voters are just not even aware of some yeah. of these issues. He's got some good proposals here, though, Liz. I like the proposal to end the legislative session after the budget is passed in early April. That's the way it used to be 40 or 50 years ago. It's an open secret at the Capitol that most legislators have nothing to do for months at a time, which may be one of the reasons a lot of them have gotten into trouble. And that per diem issue is a very serious mm -hmm. one, a little esoteric, but I'll quickly summarize it. Right now, lawmakers can get as much as $172 a day for just being in Albany. Mm -hmm. Many of them, and that, by the way, that's tax-free. They don't have to show any receipts for what they do. Many of them have cheated, as we know. Some of them have been indicted for it. They're somewhere else when they're claiming they're in Albany. Others have worked out ways sharing an apartment or buying a home and then using that money to subsidize their income. Astorino is saying that should be ended and the only payment they should be uh, being receiving is uh, in response to the submission of vouchers or rece receipts showing that they had X amount of dollar costs for food or lodging, it seems appropriate, rather than giving them their incentive to be here as long as possible, uh, 12 months of the year. And unfortunately, on, on, unless and until his numbers get stronger, <laughs> it's not likely that these ideas, good or bad, are going to be acted upon. Well, they, maybe they would be if the Governor Cuomo would embrace yeah. them, but so far, last I checked, Liz, he hadn't. All right. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> and uh, Fred is on the radio as well. You can catch him live from the state capitol. It's weekday mornings, 10 to 11, on Talk 1300 AM.